Good morning. That's, look at me. I'm back on a run. After more than two week hiatus. Um, I'm back to running. And running all the time again. Because I've missed it, I love it. But most importantly, you guys know why I started running. And it was for time. It was for time at the end of my life with Sarah. It was to try to get back any time I've lost over the past five years trying to start my family. And it's good to know why you do those, why you do your things, why it's running, why it's working at a certain job. When I held James the other day, and every day, it's an embodiment of why I need to get out and run, even for five minutes. But my pre, pre baby hiatus is over. And now it's post baby run for my life all the time. Good morning. That is the face of quite a confused dog. We had a really good first night. Um, we were up late, but it was very calm and just like problem solving and good. And then once we were settled, he really only got up two times, which is awesome. However, Evie was like, I'm out of here. She went under the bed. Um, and we didn't see her until the morning. So she's still a little confused, but she's doing good. I think she's also recovering because she just spent like a very high energy five, six days with all those doggies over at Katie's. There were five other dogs there. So I think she's recouping too, but Peter's on his run. I'm feeding James and we have a pediatrician appointment today. Back to my run, took a shower. Look, Look at this boy with this little Chicago flag onesie and pants on. He's too shy. He's yes. Hey, where's he's his looking, other mango? He's looking a little jaundicey. Yeah. Which we knew about yesterday. So we're going to go on a little. He passed the test, but they just said like it could still develop in yeah. days like three to five of his life. Yes. I mean, I think even others, but like those three are. Three to five of the big days. Yeah. So. And so this, that's why this morning I was kind of hanging out over there with the sunlight hitting him. Yeah. And then right now we're about to go on a walk. Wanna go outside? Wanna go on a walk? Yes! Yes. Wanna go outside? All of us here are gonna go walk. Sarah's gonna push the stroller. Yes. Because she's got wounds. And I'm gonna... Just a short one. Carry yeah. that little We're gonna go outside. Ready? But we got the bugaboo out. We got the bassinet ready. I'm gonna see if this universal one fits here. Um, and we're gonna be rocking and rolling. Hi, Eve. Are you hiding below the bench? <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Look at it. Look at these feet. Crisscross. So we got the little boy out here to help with any potential jaundice. Not direct sunlight, but just enough and just enough fresh air. Well, this couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> we have Eve splitting on the sidewalk. In the shade of the stroller. And Sarah hanging out with James. He's snoozing. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful out? It's like 70 so now, nice. but it was like 60 this morning. Yeah, early, it's so. still hot in the sun, like he was toasty in there. But the breeze is cool. Yeah, we took out the blanket. It's a little too toasty. This is just great. Our little adventure has come to an end. Sarah can only spend so much time out being active because you know she did just have cesarean section done two days ago. Thank but you. it's good to get a nice calm stretch of the legs. Yes. For recovery. Look at this cute baby. Oh gosh. So tired. Can you see Jamesy in the mirror? Um, we are headed to his very first pediatrician's appointment. I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I feel like it's just like the first, first of a lot of things, a lot of information. We have some questions. Um, Get a good look at our little guy. There's James when he completed his first doctor's visit. Are you telling We'll give you an update once we leave. But he did great. We gotta come back in two days. Oh gosh. Let's go 
<laughs> Look who's feeding James. We're home from our first pediatrician appointment. Sarah and I were just talking about like a lot of parents are like nervous for that first appointment. We also got parents. But because we've had such scarier visits and with like in regards to like our IVF clinic and everything like that, we were like excited. Yeah. To go to no, this. it's great. Um, slightly like we're just keeping an eye on James being jaundice. Um, he, I guess, like the only way to like get rid of jaundice is to get it out, like feed him so he can peep and poop. Um, and our doctor thinks that he's already it's already on the way out. Yeah. Because he, he came out forty months for forty months, forty weeks and three days. Yeah. Um, so she's uh, not worried, but um, he did lose ten percent of his birth weight, so we're gonna supplement with some flora. I just almost said we're gonna supplement with some flora. We're gonna supplement with some full formula. Um, like you just saw Peter doing yeah, so for the time gonna, being. But how it's going to do, because we still want to breastfeed. Well, Sarah still wants to breastfeed. I can't breastfeed him. Is Sarah's going to breastfeed until the milk is good and coming in and consistent. And then, like, so she's going to start that. And then... Like we have been right. already, like, just doing our normal feedings. And then once he's content, give him just, like, a little bit extra from these little tiny bottles. Yeah. And then if he eats this much of it... Great. Great. If he eats the whole thing, great. great. So. So we're going back on Friday, two days from now. Unless we're, she said you can call tomorrow if you if you're feeling uncomfortable, if the level of John just gets worse. Yeah. Which I don't think it. I mean, we won't know until we know. But like with us turning on the supplemental formula and sitting in the sun, on the kitchen or like in the living room, like I don't see the John just getting worse. Yeah. This is different content for the Brookhart Project. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it's going to ebb and flow and change. It's got to, you know, the first two weeks of a baby's life are just doctor's appointments right. and sleeping and growing double sizes. Yeah, it's really just, it was like a lot of first visit stuff. He's now, he's only 20 inches because his head, like, he got, shrunk. Like, got leveled out. Um, yeah, everything else was really good. It was a good visit. Yeah, we like our doctor a lot. Yeah. She's very, like, open to, like, old school or, like... New school, like... Right. She's she's very <clears throat> mathematical and analytical in data, which is why she's, like, 10% body weight loss, time to supplement if you're comfortable. Um, but then other things, she's like, oh, yeah, I definitely want to try this. We could vibe on that. And yeah. We like her. That was great. So we have somebody feed Phil. Do you want to show him that crap I'm gonna finish the walk. Check it out. So the other day when Sarah was asleep and I was watching somebody feed Phil and I was feeling zesty with myself, I went, I was just Googling somebody feed Phil stuff and I found he has a website, which we'll link below, and has merchandise and I had to buy some. And it was all Sarah, I had no idea. I thought it was coming in a couple of weeks. Um, so a surprise that we have it. So got Sarah this shirt, somebody feed Phil. Um, I got this hat for me, somebody feed Phil, and we got James. A little t-shirt, 6 to 12 months, so he's got to grow into it, but somebody feed Phil. Somebody feed, somebody feed. Even I just played for the first time since she's been back. And she's got some new running skills that she got from the five of their dogs at Katie's. It's a lot of fun, but putting on... She's looking for you so cute, like... <laughs> I feel like she's gotten better at play with living with those dogs for a week. This is arguably one of the best episodes of How I Met Your Mother. I promised Sarah I'd handle this debacle today, and it is now 7 o'clock at night, and we're about to eat some dinner, so it looks like I know what I'm doing afterwards. All right, James, James it's your first night of Ronies. You can't eat oh. it yet, but... Eve wants them. <laughs> this is a staple in your life, in your identity. Look at these cozy jammies. They're way too big on them. What do you do when your baby's fussing a little bit? You march carousel progress. Shining at the end of every day. Best city in the world. This is a like a docu series called City So Real that we're about to get started. It's about Chicago, of course, our favorite city. So I didn't realize putting this on, this was all about Lori Lightfoot's election as mayor and all the like uh, social injustice going on and people, you know, bringing awareness to that. The verdicts came out for Laquan McDonald's murder case um, for the Chicago Police Department, CPD. It was interesting seeing, like, now we've seen 
personally Orlando's version, like side of this dark history. And now we're seeing, since we didn't live in Chicago then, like a very personal police brutality view of CPD from Chicagoans, from the city we love. Just goes to show that this is not a singular issue in the United States, unfortunately. It needs to get work done everywhere. I have been put to shame. Why? I was supposed to do this organizing and cleaning. And I have ideas. I'm also setting up like our bedroom is going to have a basket of diapers in it so we don't have to like transport it like this will have stuff in it and another diaper bag. Just prepare I'm going to empty that now. Okay. Because you don't need that bouncy ball anymore. Is she tired, puppy? She's oh tired. gosh. Evie just got <laughs> crazy. She jumped down from her normal spot, sniffed James. Looked at us and laid down right next to her on back of She's like, I've claimed this human. Alrighty, Peter's getting little guy undressed. We are gonna give him just like a nice little washcloth bath. Um, put a little bit of lotion on him. Um, we have to wait until like his umbilical cord fully falls off before we can give him like a true true bath. Um, but just a nice little wipe down with our nice little soaps. Um, just another thing that we've been waiting forever to do. And I feel really good. I have been productive today, but we've also been taking it easy. And um, like incision wise and like my health wise, like I have had moments where I'm like ooh and an on, um, but I'm sticking to just like the larger amount of ibuprofen that I was prescribed. And I feel really good. And I feel really good because I organized like a diaper bag, our stroller bag, our compartment for the family room, our compartment for our bedroom, just all the organizational things just like feel like we're home and we're just doing our thing. We got our little bath that will cinnamon, washcloth, lotion, soap. We're eventually going to use this wipe warmer when he's in this room more. It's just like a gadget that sits in the corner over there. Oh, it's a fresh, clean babe. <laughs> Look at that. We did a good job. We did. First. I wasn't sure about that sink, but... You got the hiccups? You got the hiccups? Sweet pie. <laughs> okay, it's a bath train. Sarah gave James a bath. Eve was giving Sarah a bath. And I'm going to give Eve a bath. This is just apparently is the most comfortable position to to lay in. I wish it's someone strange. would hold me like this. And we could try it later, but we're kind of the same size. True. You're not like you're like eight times the size of him, proportionally speaking. Oh, oh. <laughs> such a sleepy baby. I waited my whole life for this. I don't know where the evening went. It's now 11 o'clock. Sarah, Eve, and James all asleep. Sarah and Eve are like cuddling on the couch, which is adorable. James is just chilling with me. Um, I just put on Muppets Christmas Carol, but I'm gonna get the daily message going because I think this is the end of the vlog. Um, we did a lot of cleaning up and organizing tonight at home and tomorrow Tomorrow, we decorate for Christmas. It was kind of difficult, like we wanted to have Christmas kind of out before James was born, but then he was C-section due early and then it got moved. And, but tomorrow, we're putting away all the fall and Halloween stuff and busting out Christmas. Do I want this one-handed? Oh. Doing this one-handed with baby is not simple. All right, November 4th, Anthony J. Delangio. Wherever you go, no matter what the weather, always bring your own sunshine. I'll tell you that. I got my sunshine now, forever. It's good to be home.
We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>